I'm Olivia Bailey, and if you're seeing me right now, you're probably watching EHG TV on Comcast Cable, or you might be listening to WEHG 90.7. Whether you're seeing or hearing me right now, I'm glad you're tuned in. My guest today for this sports interview is Webster Gilly, a men's tennis player. Webster, thank you for being on the set today. Thanks. It's great to be here. Well, my first question for you is, why tennis? How did you get your start? Um, it all started way back when, when I was a, a little kid. Um, my dad uh, was the one who got me started. Um, whenever we would like go to this certain place on vacation, he would, um, you know, say, "Hey, let's go to the tennis courts." And so I kind of hit with him. And uh, I was the only child, and so I didn't really have anyone to play with growing up uh, when I was little. And so I would find creative ways to play, like uh, go in the backyard and kind of hit tennis balls up against the side of the house or on the garage door. And uh, then we moved, and uh, I moved across from the Country Club of Bristol, and I was really fortunate in that. And um, you know, tennis obviously is a country club kind of sport, and so I kind of got started playing in that. Um, took lessons, uh, took clinics, and I joined this uh, travel team. Um, basically, kids from around the area, um, you know, in different age groups would travel around to these big tournaments and play with a lot of good competition, and that's kind of how I got my start in tennis. And I understand, uh, just in conversation with you, that there was kind of an absence of tennis in your life for a short period of time. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's not a typical uh, athlete story, you know, usually people stick with their sports, but, um, yeah, like I said, you know, I would, I would um, play at the country club in different terms and things, and then one day I just kind of quit. It was kind of a mixture of um, becoming burnout, and uh, I, I kind of hurt my shoulder. And so I took a, a, a few years away from the sport, actually. And, uh, you know, that, that happened about in middle school. And then I got to high school. And I played golf throughout high school. And uh, I only played one year of tennis, and that was my sophomore year. And uh, after that, you know, I just kind of lost interest again, and I didn't play until I... Uh, Come, came here. So. so coming to Emory, how, how did you join the tennis team? Yeah, that's a, a funny story. Um, I didn't come here to play tennis. I, uh, I actually came here to play golf. You know, I was interested in golf and they didn't, um, you know, have their golf team back that year and so I was kind of disappointed in that. And uh, the coach kind of, uh, at the time Coach Barker kind of contacted me and some of the people who played and was like, yeah, we heard you, you know, play tennis uh, when you were younger. And uh, you should come out and, you know, see what you can do to help us. And so I came out my freshman year, and I played a little bit in the fall. Um, you know, I kind of tried my luck in it. But once again, I kind of lost interest, and uh, I took another, uh, you know, part from the game and uh, didn't come back until my junior year last year. Uh, and then I, this will be my second full year playing tennis here at Emory & Henry. So why did you come back? What's there for you now? Well... I kind of, you know, my interest got sparked again. I don't know, it just came from within. And uh, some of the guys just kept agging me on, you know, to play. And they were like, well, we could really use you and we could really be good. And so I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And so I, uh, you know, came out to the practices and uh, I met with our uh, Coach Hale, our new coach now. And, uh, you know, I kind of liked uh, the things that were set in place and I just stuck with it. You know, at the time I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with it, but I did, and uh, it ended up, you know, being a good opportunity uh, opportunity for me to, you know, stay in shape and help the team and, and things like that. And this is a big team coming up. Um, you guys had a very successful season last season. I think finished third in the ODAC and are looking to improve upon that this year. What types of preparations are you guys making as a team to prepare for this season? Yeah, um, like you said, you know, we've been there before, and uh, this the past two years, uh, we made it to the uh, ODAC semifinals, and uh, which is a big step for the program. Um, it's been you know 20, 30 years since we've seen that kind of success, and um, really uh, we we were f we were ranked fourth um, the year before last, and we we're actually ranked fourth last year, and um, you know we we really have great you know people on the team. You know our one through six or seven people there's like 12 total spots and the first six or seven people are really competitive and could really beat each other you know at any given time and so I think that makes our practices go really well um, 
our coach, uh, Coach Hale, came from uh, North Carolina Westland, and he won a ring with them, and so he kind of knows success. Mm -hmm. And he kind of, you know, brings that to the table here at Emory and Henry. And so it starts from day one, um, just hard work and uh, preparation and uh, really the attitude that we can do this because we've been there before. And really, you know, our team's improved each year, really, and that's one thing that goes along with it. And so we really think we have a shot at uh, winning the title this year. What does it mean to you individually to be a part of a team like this that's aimed for success? I mean, it means a lot, you know, on on the court, but also I think off the court, you know, uh, it's a bonding experience and it really gives us a, a temperament of like hard work and uh, preparation. And you can take that, you know, with your career outside of tennis or in tennis and it just kind of, you know, molds you into a better person. And you talked a little bit off the court. Um, what are you studying here at Emory and Henry? Uh, I'm an accounting major. Do you have, a, you're a senior this year, so you're going to be kind of uh, fading out of the picture, I guess. Um, what do you expect to go on and do after Emory and Henry? Well, I mean, um, uh, I help run a family business back in Bristol. We own a dry cleaners, and so, uh, you know, when I came here, I was kind of interested in business, and so I, I took accounting, and, uh, you know, I really, you know, look forward to, to helping out the family business when I graduate and also look into um, other um, careers, you know, in accounting or in business in general. So I really uh, just hope to plan on working on my resume and singing it, sending it out to a, a bunch of different um, jobs and prospects for me to land a job. But really, I'm just gonna kinda go with the flow, mm -hmm. really. How has your experience here at Emory & Henry prepared you for that? Oh, it's, it's definitely um, helped in a big way. Uh, this school, you know, has a great academic uh, reputation, and uh, I feel like that, you know, in this region especially, a lot of employers look at people coming out of Emory and Henry, and you know, they've definitely lived up to their expectations, and um, I feel like that, you know, they've done a great job of preparing me. Well, that's great. I wish you the best of luck in your academic career, but also in tennis and the big plans that you guys have coming up this year. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You've been listening to this sports interview from Emory & Henry Reports on EHGTV. You can find us on Comcast Cable Channel 70 and 95 each Wednesday and Thursday night at 7. Thanks for joining me, Olivia Bailey, for this sports interview.